Dr. Magdi Jakob's life is dedicated to helping others. He's known worldwide for his expertise in heart and heart-lung transplants and has won several awards. He travels the world sharing his knowledge. His Chain of Hope charity provides specialist surgical care to the developing world. In the Aswan Hospital in Egypt, Dr. Jakob runs a training center for young doctors. The students have a massive talent, have sometimes more brain cells than the professor, but it's not structured, they have no experience, so you uh, have to point them in the right direction and say, go. There are now a lot of tools molecular in particular, and these molecular tools and personalized medicine are going to change medicine in a big way. The son of a surgeon, Dr. Jakub studied at Cairo University and decided to specialize in heart surgery after the death of his aunt. He's worked in Britain, Chicago and Nigeria. We asked him what his first advice is for those who want to practice medicine. the attitude to patients, you need to learn that as well. And so you go there, and even if you don't have anything now, you say, my name is X, and I want to help you. I might not have enough to help you now uh, medically, but I genuinely want to help you. This is a principle which has to be engraved in medical um, education. Dr. Jakub is one of the few surgeons who can teach the technically demanding Ross procedure. He remains a supervisor to PhD students and has published over 1,000 articles. There is no operation with zero mortality, but you try and get the mortality down to zero, and you have to be objective to do that. If and only if the person involved uh, has a passion for the specialty, medicine, and um, he, will have, he or she will have a very happy life only and only if they have a passion for the specialty. Dr. Yaku continues to act as a high-profile consultant and ambassador for transplant surgery. An inspiration for many, his methodology has saved thousands of lives.